welcome back to my channel. So this is the third video in our support local series, and today we're featuring si Scott Cosmetics. So si Scott Cosmetics, I saw a lot of articles about it, and I saw um a lot of YouTubers reviewing the products as well. So it piqued my interest. I wanted to see if it's something that will work for me, and if the products are really as the hype is like deserving for the brand or for the products that they sell. So, a brief background on Scott Cosmetics. So, I found out that sister company or sister brand pala sila ni Detail Makeover. So, si Detail Makeover, I've tried a few of their products before and they do have a palette that has all shimmers that I love. I love using it. And, like Detail Makeover, the products that they're selling are super affordable. I'm talking about a 200 peso eyeshadow palette that, that performs really well and I'm so excited. So, for this video, I only purchased like 3 items and I am looking forward to purchase even more. Because uh, it didn't disappoint. It really performed well. So, if you guys want to see me complete this look and know what I think about the products that I tried, then just keep watching. Mm -hmm. Brow Game Eyebrow Pencil, so it looks like this. Okay. The shade I got is Dark Brown. So we'll start with our eyebrows muna. I think this is one of the few brands na eyebrows talaga yung una kong tinest out. Kasi madalas na ginagamit ko for eyebrows is yung mga, is yung L'Oreal Brow Artist. And ay yung Maybelline na, ah, no, not Maybelline. Ah, uh, yung Blythe Cosmetics na nabili ko. So, I wanted to try another brow product. And I do have another brand here na meron silang brow pomade. So, that will be coming up next. So, after this video, yun naman yung issue shoot. Okay. So, start na tayo with the brows. In fairness, madali yung maano yung pigment niya. Kasi what I noticed, Yung doon sa L'Oreal Brow Product na ginagamit ko. I really have to press hard to get any kind of pigment out. And this one, it's not giving me a hard time to get the pigment out. See? I don't really press that much. So, for every product na i-discuss ko, I'll be putting a screenshot right here. Uh, as to how much I purchased it for. So, I think for the Spot Cosmetics products, I bought it sa Lazada. Kasabay nung Hello Gorgeous ko. So, if you want to see that video, I'll put an i-card above para makita nyo yung Hello Gorgeous review ko na ginawa ko last week. So, yeah. Let's continue. Hmm. So, we already have a rough line. And I'm buffing it out with a spoolie right now. And lilinisin ko pa siya when I apply yung concealer as eye primer. Okay. So, that's one eyebrow done. And I do like it. I mean, I don't think I've ever tried a brow product that doesn't really make you work hard to get the pigment out. So, for sure, I think I found a new favorite of the things of brows. And it's not that hard to blend out. Maybe I can get it out of it. Though I do have to clean it, that's my fault. But, in terms of how to get the product from the pencil to your brows, I like it, I like it. So that's one eyebrow done. So, syempre, lilinisin ko pa siya. Ayusin pa natin. And I'm gonna do the other brow off camera. And, okay. And guys, so we're done with the, with both brows. And we've already primed their eyelids. But I do want to give a quick, re a quick review on the Spot Cosmetics Brow Game Eyebrow Pencil. So, so far, sa siguro sa lahat ng mga natry kong brow products, ito yung pinakamadaling gamitin in a sense na 
you don't really have to work hard to take the pigment off of the pencil. So, it's both good and bad. It's a, it's a good thing because you don't have to like drag, drag on your skin para lang makal But at the same time, it kind of throws you pigment na yung kagaya ng yari sang kanina, I got shocked. Eh, I, personally, I'm not used to it. So, kailangan, maingat ka lang din talaga when using it kasi it's easy to get like a really bold brow when you don't want a bold brow. Okay, so overall, I give it a 10 out of 10. I really like this product. And yeah, I'm going to be using it a lot more, especially on my videos. Kasi, ganda siya eh. Ang next product natin is an eyeshadow palette. So, this is the first local brand where I'm actually reviewing an eyeshadow palette. Kasi, sa totoo lang, of all makeup products, eyeshadows are my favorite because I love color. I love to play with color and I like to see what kind of looks I can do with them. So for this one, we're going to use the Squad Cosmetics uh, Berry Squad Eyeshadow Palette. So it, it looks like this. And that really pink berry color is calling to me. Ganda niya, no? Ayan. So yeah, as proof of first time ko siya gamitin. And I haven't even used the plastic on this yet. There you go. So yeah, tara, may plastic packaging. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put a screenshot right here of how much it is. First of all, this is really, this is a really big pad. I like the pad size. I think you're gonna get a lot of use out of this. And I do think, I think they have like three shades or three variations for the eyeshadow. But I chose this one because this pink one, this really bright pink one, is calling me. So you're gonna need to try this one first. orangey eyeshadow. So let me get that on brush. Minimal fallout. I like that. And it's really coating my brush. You guys can see that. Okay. Promising. Promising. Let's start. Okay. So I will say Squad Cosmetics is not afraid to give you pigment whatsoever. Well, it doesn't really show on camera. So, uh, skin po, it's really showing. See? Yeah, it's getting there. Just have to build it up. Okay, yes. okay. So, it's a really light wash of color on camera. Pero in person, it's a type of eyeshadow that I will use when I need like a quick fix. Na, bilang ang mong. Bilang kailang mag ayos pero. Wala ako masyadong time. So I think this is the kind of shade that I would use for that. Yeah, promising. I like that. I like that. I didn't have a hard time getting it out. Which is important. So we're going to dip into this shade. And see if it will be as promising as I thought it would be. So it's putting my brush. Again, Squad Cosmetics not being shy with the type of pigment that they give. That's amazing. Mm. That's yummy. I like this pink one a lot. See? The pink did not disappoint, and I was afraid that it will. So, I think the next step is shimmer, honestly. I think I need shimmer in this one. So, I think let's go for the most blinding shade is this one. This one is silvery, pinky one. First time swatching. Oh, it's really soft. And very thick. Okay, so when you swatch it, it kind of comes off like this. Really nice, but let's see if it will 
the guy. However, it is a bit bothersome because I see a lot of fallout on my skin. So, which for me is fine because I usually do my eyeshadows on my before my foundation. But for those that like to do their foundation first, I think this is going to be a bit of a hassle. So you really need powder to like catch all that. Yeah, and the fallout all over my legs. So yes, it's not shy when it comes to giving you pigment, but it comes to giving you shine, but it does get everywhere. So, good thing, bad thing, there you go. I'm gonna grab more of the pink shade to like blend out the upper part and the uh, outer corner and I did scrub because I don't want the heart shade. Yeah, so I like that noodle. However, I am super bothered by the fallout. Okay, so it looks like that. Okay, so I do think I'm gonna get something from another palette that will help deepen out your outer corner when I need to go. But I like that. So if I tested out this shade, this shade, and this shade, and so far I like what I'm seeing. So I think this is a 7 out of 10 because of the fallout and the shiver shade. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and maybe add like a darker shade to deepen out the other corners and not the right way. So we're done with the eye makeup and yeah, like apply the eyeliner and I did some black eyeshadow, black brown eyeshadow to deepen out the other corners and I've already primed my face uh, for the next product which is the Squad Cosmetics on the Go Stick in shade light which looks like this. So it's a stick foundation which I'm usually not used to working with because I'm, I'm used to working with cream foundation, see liquid foundation, see pina pump talaga. So I I did swatch it so medyo may konting bago sa siya. Well, you don't really see it. But may, may konting bago sa siya kasi I did swatch it before. So, among all the Squad Cosmetics products that I reviewed today, ito lang yung nabuksan ko talaga because I really wanted to see first impression wise your eyeshadow and your brow product. I believe you're just supposed to draw this on the screen. Oh, okay, that's not a bad shade match at all. It was nice, it's almost like green. Almost like skin. So we've applied it and now it's time for us to go in. Here we go. Okay, first impression right off the bat, it's not like super safe coverage. Um, I mean, don't usually like for coverage and like for so I think this is a nice product for those that like it. It's just a Miguel yung coverage of foundation. I think it's perfect for those no makeup makeup days because yes, it does cover but it's still, it's like your skin but better. Another product that I might be using more. Done with foundation, and I gotta say, first of all, the shade matches perfect. I found my perfect foundation shade right off the bat. I thought I was gonna be stuck with shades that are a lot lighter, a lot darker than my skin tone, and I think I hit it with light stick. However, they only have around four shades available, so I'll put a screenshot right here of the shade range that I'm using. I guess it's good for like starters, but maybe. Again, squad cosmetics, mahanaman. Maybe we should add a bit more. Maybe like four or five more shades para sa mga super mestiza or super morena beauties natin dyan. So, this is a really good product for the price. And I don't want, essentially for me, I don't want anyone missing out on trying out this product. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of my face makeup off camera. And I'll be right back with my final. Okay, so we're 
done with the face. So, what do you guys think? For my final thoughts with regards to Spark Cosmetics, overall, I am impressed by the brand. I am super impressed that I was able to achieve this look, uh, focusing on the eyes and the face. Um, without actually spending too much. Kasi sa totoo lang, uh, yung foundation is like 129 pesos. Sobrang mura. Pero ang ganda ng quality niya. Ang ganda ng pero yung yung skin. So I didn't have uh, any problems layering my concealer, my powder, contour, cheek stuff. Wala kami yung problema with it. And I'm super impressed. When it comes to the eyeshadow, or the only, eye, the only eyeshadow from the palette that I had in issue, is this one, yung shimmer niya. And though it's really reflective, so I put it on my lids and my inner corners as well. And though it's super reflective, it's super... I think it's pressed like too soft. So when you use your fingers, even use your brush, there's a lot of fallout. And I don't usually have a problem with fallout, but this one kasi I medyo kumalat siya sa face ko. And my leggings are filled with glittery stuff right now. I wouldn't say that it's bad. I mean, I'm saying it's performing really well, but just be wary of the uh, the fallout. Then the eyebrows, as I mentioned, Kanina, I really like it because it's not like other eyebrow products. Na hin na papahirapan ko talaga to get any kind of pigment out. As you can see, I didn't set any. I didn't even set it. I didn't take it sa clear brow gel to set it, but looks really good. I really like it. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below kung ano pa yung mga brands na gusto nyo ang isama natin sa support of a series natin. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel uh, to be more updated whenever I upload a new video. So, I'm going to continue with this support local series. I think I have a few more brands coming in. Pero waiting pa rin ako yun. And again, I'm waiting for your feedback. Baka meron pa kayo may recommend sa akin. Comment yun lang below. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.